Indestrum introduces Kiosk, a brand new interactive hint system for players that will save your expenses on Game Masters. Why? Because it's fully automated and uh, will require uh, less attention from Game Masters. Uh, they will spend less time giving hints to players and helping them, and therefore will be able to watch more games alone. The kiosk looks as simple as that. It's just a screen themed to match the theme of the room. This one is created for a steampunk submarine escape room. Uh, it connects to the game, uh, to escape room, just as any prop in the room. So it will require a power, uh, 12 volts power and network, but uh, it will also require high voltage power for the screen, which is uh, built into, the, uh, into it. The microphone will also require um, high voltage, but it comes with an adapter. So we can uh, set the timer to uh, the game before we start it. Right now you see the main screen of the kiosk, uh, which is the timer actually. So let me show you how we can set the timer. In the settings in our ERP, we can choose any time and it will change. So we can set it uh, to any option available in the interface. Uh, if you need more options, uh, we can add them for you, uh, even to one minute. Uh, the timer, by the way, is synced right now. So uh, even if you switch to another device, the timer will still be saved. So the timer ri runs inside the system, inside the kiosk, and uh, you will always know the exact time uh, remaining for the players. So let's uh, set the timer to 60 minutes and start the game. So I will turn off the volume right now because we will uh, hear an intro message from the uh, narrator. So we will now speak about the interface more. So there is the um, uh, only three buttons uh, to control the uh, kiosk. It's, it's as simple as that. In a few seconds, we will see a new hint appear like this. So uh, the new hint appears uh, every 30 seconds, but we can uh, adjust this time for you, change it to two minutes or three minutes. So the new hint um, shows up as uh, in the form of a notification, just like any messaging app or yeah, any application that players are used to on their phones or something. So we try to make the interface as intuitive and as um, user-friendly as possible. So uh, they can press this button and uh, see this. Before they can see the actual hint, they will see the puzzle that is active right now. So there's, uh, they can choose whether they want to see the hint or not, because the picture of a puzzle, in our opinion, is uh, already a kind of a hint, uh, so the players will know what to pay attention to. Uh, right now, by the way, you can see uh, this puzzle. It's here. Uh, so uh, the interface is, uh, as you may have noticed, is also stylized to match the theme of the room. So if you order uh, any other room, not only the um, the case of the screen uh, will be uh, will match the theme of the room. The interface will also change. So in the corner we see puzzle one out of one. So just one puzzle is active, and uh, there's a still the notification is still blinking, telling us uh, there's a still a hint available, and. Uh, there is a timeout, one minute, so if we don't press any buttons, the uh, interface uh, goes back to the main screen, which is the timer. So let's speak about the, uh, this button. So you may have noticed that right now we have only two buttons with, with light. So the buttons are always switch their uh, functions. There are only three of them, but they have uh, the, um, uh, their op the functions uh, are always told uh, to players uh, with these um, three um, labels on the screen. So this button right now has a function of calling the GM uh, or the Game Master. What happens when players press it? Let's see. So here's our ERP interface and uh, here's what happens. The players will see this bell and the Game Master will see this um, pop-up uh, notification with, which tells players need help. This is the time when, play, when uh, the Game Master can use uh, the two-way communication system included. He can speak to the players. Hello, what help do you need? And um, he can also hear the players. Uh, there is a microphone built into this uh, kiosk uh, below and uh, the players can speak to the Game Master as well. The Game Master will be able to hear the players uh, through the headphones. I, I have just uh, very, very simple headphones with me. Uh, you can, you can uh, use uh, any other headphones. Uh, they are connected like this. Okay, and uh, the Game Master can hear the players. The speaker is in included into the kiosk as well, so the players will uh, hear the Game Master through the speaker. And, uh, which also means that uh, you can use audio hints here as well. So the, not only the video hints. 
Uh, so now let's proceed to uh, the interface. Let's we still have the new hint notification blinking because we haven't seen the hint yet. Let's open it. So we opened the first hint and uh, yeah, all hints are, we basically made the hints uh, in a video form. Uh, the hints for this game have no audio, but like I said, it's possible to make the videos with audio. It's also possible to make the hint only as, as an image. So right now you see uh, the first hint is usually a very, very uh, subtle one. Uh, like here, it just tells you to, uh, tells the players to look through this um, pipe. So let us just demonstrate to you this, uh, it's show again this puzzle and uh, they will need to look inside here. So now uh, 30 seconds just left and the next hint appeared and pay attention that it tells us this is the final hint. The final hint means that it will give out the complete solution to the players. And uh, we uh, think that players have to uh, know and that they are supposed to have a choice to whether to open the hint or not. And they have to know that the next hint will be not just a hint but basically a complete solution. So it's kind of a warning for, warning for them. So let's uh, press this uh, hint. Pay attention that uh, before I press this final, before I open this final hint, I will still have this notification blinking. So let's open the final hint for this game. And it will basically tell me what I need to do. I need to get out the key from this pipe and I need to open this door and switch uh, the, uh, the light. So. What else do we have here? Let's uh, try and activate uh, more puzzles than just one. So just as we opened the final available hint, the notification disappears. Also, if we solve the puzzle, the hint will disappear. And let's actually do this right now. So we will open, I will open the hint for you, like uh, any hint, and I will solve the puzzle. This puzzle solves very simple. I just turn on the switch, so let's, uh, and when I do this, this hint will basically erase. So there's no hint anymore. So no all hints stacking up in the system. Now let's wait 30 seconds before uh, the next hint appear. And I will uh, show you how, uh, what, uh, how the interface will look when there are more than one puzzle, when there's more than one puzzle active. So let's do this. We will activate uh, this, this hint activated on its own right now, but we have only one puzzle active again. So this um, game, uh, the steampunk submarine uh, game, is uh, mostly linear. So it's uh, one by one, puzzles are one by one. But not only all games are like this. And uh, when uh, there are multiple puzzles active at the same time, uh, the system will give you options. Uh, will give you choice uh, to decide. Let's activate now more puzzles and see how the um, uh, number of hints, uh, number of active puzzles will change now. It will not change immediately because the hints appear only in 30 seconds after activation of the puzzle. And I will remind you again that this uh, time is adjustable. So let's wait before the second uh, one, uh, the second puzzle will uh, be active. We can activate, yeah, we just uh, exceeded the limit and yeah now we have two puzzles active and uh, two notifications blinking and telling to us that uh, there are hints available right now for two puzzles so let's switch to the next one this is the second puzzle and we can open the, its hint and see the hint itself and uh, also pay attention the final hint soon so we always tell the players that there is uh, one more hint available Let's return to the question of uh, the parallel game flow. Uh, like I said, uh, there may be more than one puzzle uh, puzzles available and uh, from our experience, players don't like when the, they don't have a choice, when the hints are fitted to them without their uh, consent, basically. So, uh, and here, this system is created uh, with uh, that in mind. So they can always choose, uh, so they see which puzzles are active right now. You see, they can uh, switch between puzzles and they can decide whether they want a hint for this puzzle or for this puzzle. So let us try and uh, finish the game completely. So we also integrated um, an ending video and an intro video for the game. So it's possible uh, to with, with this uh, video timer uh, system as we have now. So I will solve the final puzzle. <laughs> Oh, thank God. We've got rid of the squid. Good job, my friends. And it will activate the final video. Looks like the submarine is moving towards the Captain Nemo's Bay. We did it. Good job.
So the game will be more um, immersive for players with this final video. Uh, you can put, of course, any final video you want. This was taken just from one of our customers. Uh, the same way uh, we can upload the intro video if you want. And uh, basically the, uh, the possibilities are very large. System, Let's reset uh, the game completely. And uh, that's it. Uh, this was the uh, new interactive hint system kiosk from Industrum. I hope you liked it. Stay tuned and check back for more products from Industrum. Bye-bye.